Welcome back to another instance of the Mega Man Battle Network walkthrough. We are at episode 7. Last time we were invited to, to go out to dinner with Dad, but first we gotta find this old fart's tooth. Um, his dentures. They're right here. Surely he'll give us a, war a reward for his all-important dentures, and why did I walk through that car? Recover 80G, that is so worthless. Anyways, come here and talk to this guy. What an ass. Anyways, I walked around for a little bit, but the only thing you can jack into is the PETs made out of plastic, recycled plastic. Amazing. How did they do that? There's an HP memory in there, so you don't want that. That's all there is, though. Then you gotta, then you gotta talk to these two again, and... Oh no! It's the bell! It's the bell which signals that we are about to be attacked with an extremely dumb dungeon gimmick. Okay, maybe not. So who am I supposed to... I'm supposed to talk to her again? Why can't the next cutscene play automatically? Yes, the... Yep. The WWW again, and they took over the power plant. Now, of course, since this is, like, 30 miles underground, the air vents, the electronically controlled air vents, are the only source of air. Very smart! Now, what the heck am I supposed to do here to get the doors open? I, let's see, I talked to that guy, I talked to this guy. What, the other door is open? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Anyways, nothing to do but jack in. Wait, what? That's right, here's the dungeon gimmick. As you walk around, the PET will run out of batteries. If it runs down all the way, then you won't be able to heal after battle. This is very bad, so get this done as quick as possible. But as soon as I explain the other gimmick, you ain't gonna enjoy this. First of all, invisible walkways. Very nice. Very nice. So now you have to find the walkways and stuff. Oh, and here's the other stupid part. You got it? You, you'll, if you walk around and talk to the guys, you'll find batteries. Put them into the hole and then you throw the switch. Oops, I must have put the battery in the wrong hole. So, I, so I'm gonna try a different hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And if, oh, and if the battery runs out of juice, you gotta go and take it to the guy to get it recharged. Ugh, and there's an... Oh, and there's also rogue programs who will spout internet memes and attack you. Fortunately, they can, they can only attack you, like, like in the eight squares surrounding them. And every time they attack, they lose five of their own hit points. I mean, that's really smart, isn't it? However, they will use area steel eventually, so you'll want to counter with an area steel of your own, or you'll be thrust into unavoidable attacks. And eventually, there will be times when you need to use more than one battery on multiple holes in order to move on. I mean, this is the stupidest dungeon gimmick idea ever. The only hint that you have is that the bat is that, that, that the correct batteries aren't the ba the correct holes that you put the batteries in are never adjacent to each other. But other than that, you just gotta keep trying and trying again. And while all these random enemy encounters are are kicking your butt, and believe me, they will kick your butt. So yeah, so yeah, I don't know if the bat the holes the correct holes change when when every time you play but but I'm showing you the answers that were that were on this particular playthrough so yeah and even worse when you go on later in the level you'll have to use two batteries to, to open up a walkway well where are my fresh batteries man then you gotta put then you gotta put the third battery into a completely separate set of holes and these random enemy encounters tick me off because look at this it's on a I can't avoid their attacks you know, you know, I can't avoid their attacks. What, what, what were they thinking? It should be illegal to use more than two steels at once. Anyways, 
They used two batteries to, to uh, open up a walkway, and oh darn it, the battery ran out! <sighs> Fortunately, this guy made a handheld generator. If you can make a handheld generator, make a generator for the freaking power, power plant. You rapidly hit B to charge up the batteries again. You have 20 seconds to do this. I mean, why can't you just make it charge automatically? Can't you do that? This is advanced culture, dang it! Now, where was I? This would better be the last set of holes, too. Anyways, you put two batteries into, into a set of holes. Then you go on to the later area and put one battery in that set of holes. So you can go back to the previous area, get your batteries from that area, and then and then use all three batteries on the on the on the second set of holes. And you do this in each area, and I'm guessing this is the last one because all three light bulbs are, are in the same area. I had to bum rush forever to figure out which three holes you put the batteries in. They don't and you better put one battery in there at a time, because they don't tell you, they do not tell you which battery uh, is in the correct hole. And I, and I sound like a complete cheetar. Anyways, after that, after that, you notice that the fuse box in, in the generator room is still on for some reason. So anyways, I'm making a safe state here, because now I have to fight two bosses uh, in a row. And I don't want to die at this point. Yes, the Electro Man speaks in leak speak. Fortunately, he all unfortunately he already got the, the, the electricity program or whatever. Anyways, Elect Man, what does he do? Well, when he's about to attack, you know what? Let's speed this up. When he attacks, the panels that he's about to strike will light up and. What is going on? I'm, I'm, he can just recharge himself whenever he wants to. What? Well, guess what? Electricity is his element, so it, so he just so happens to be drawing power from the fuse box. So you know what? We tinker with the fuse box. Yeah, fuse box count eight. <sighs> the things this kid does. Anyways, with that shut off, he won't be able to heal himself. Yeah, thanks for telling us how to. How to how to beat you by be tinkering with a fuse box? Anyways, like I said, the panels that he's about to attack will light up before a lightning bolt strikes him, and you better avoid that because it does a hundred damage. You can also put these little—I don't know what they are. They they kind of hinder your movement a little, and they and they uh, make that look that they uh, shine just a little before before they um, put an electric spark there. Fortunately, the rogue program's job brings out battleships, which are a great battleship to use on the on the uh, the or or you could use swords. Oh, and he stands still when he shoots the lightning bolt at you. I mean, that's that's really smart, isn't it? This is more like it. Now I can kick butt. Doo doo doo. Huge chunk of money. I must have like 50,000 zenny by now. Anyways, he goes on and on about uh, how he's already won. But, yeah, but. Okay, it took Mega Man less time to break the jack in protection than Proto Man. Anyway, anyways, Proto Man goes on and on and on about how he was about to get the w location of the WWW server out of Elect Man's memory. Fake data? What fake data? They got the electricity program. Ugh. Anyways, Proto Man decides to kill you. Notice how he has less HP than the uh, than Elect Man. Did. I'm gonna speed this up too because it's really rudimentary. You can only hit. Proto Man for decent damage when he's launching an attack. His two attacks, Fighter Sword, which hacks down an entire row, and um, and um, his little, let's call it Step Sword, since I really don't know the name. 
where he will jump into your area and use a white sword. So basically, as long as you stay in the, uh, the uh, middle column, you're, you're okay, really. This is only taking so long because I'm getting unlucky with the draw. There, I killed him. I even got less money from him than from Electman. Proto Man goes on and on and on about how an official Navi lost to a civilian Navi, but get this. You know what? Mega Man goes on about friendship and shit. You know what? You lost Proto Man. You don't use battle chips. I have not seen a single enemy Navi use battle chips yet. Use battle chips! Ugh! Man, oh man, that 